Welcome to Radford University's presentation of SmartBoard Interactive Flatboard. Today we're going to be discussing the tools that begin with the arrow and extend right until you reach the text tool. As a secondary math teacher, I find it very helpful to use the smart board in everyday tasks such as creating Venn diagrams. Today I'm going to walk you through step by step how to create your very own Venn diagram. First thing we need are two identical circles. Go to your shapes tool and click once. We're going to choose the circle by clicking once and then we're going to drag and drop a circle of our desired shape and size into position. Click on your arrow tool and then click on the circle to select it. You will notice that a dotted box appears around the circle as well as a small arrow. Click once on the arrow and then scroll down to clone. This creates a circle of exactly the same sh shape and size. We're going to drag this circle into position and we have our Venn diagram. Click on the outside. Let's say we want to compare equations and inequalities. Let's go up to our text tool, click once, and then select the text size that you would like. We're going to drag a text box into position above the first circle and write the word equations. You'll notice that equations appears to be a little bit too small here to fit inside the box. So we're going to highlight the word and change the size to 26. We can drag the box up by clicking on the circle and pulling up. We can also change the color of this font by clicking on the black box here. And let's make equations red. Okay, now we need to do the exact same thing for inequalities. Click once outside the box, go back to your text tool, and draw another text box above the second circle. This one we're going to label inequalities. Once again, inequalities is too large, so we're going to highlight it, click on our size, drop down menu, and select 26. You may have to reposition this by dragging on the small circles located around the outside of the text box. Once again, we can change the color, click on the black, and let's make this circle's inequalities be represented by purple. Click on the outside. Now we have a Venn diagram where your students can easily see that the right circle represents inequalities, the left circle represents equations and their commonality is represented where the two intersect. We have a few more tools located at the top of our toolbar. The first tool is the pen tool. Click once, you can see we have a selection of colors and highlighter pens available. If we wanted to write a sample equation in our first circle, click once on the pen and then we could go down inside the circle and write X equals 2. Another pen that we have is the creative pen. We have rainbows, stars, circles, daisies. Let's use the rainbow pen tool. Click once and we could write an inequality. Y is greater than 3. Now, question. Can we erase the material that we have created. Yes and no. We can create we can erase anything that we have written with our pen tools with the eraser that is located next on the toolbar. Click once on the eraser and we have three different size erasers. Let's use the largest eraser and I'm going to hold down and drag over and I can remove anything that I've just created. Notice that my circles did not go away. The only way to remove the circles is to use the undo key located on the left side of the toolbar. This has been a presentation of Radford University's Whiteboard Interactive Smart Board. Today we learned about the tools that extend from the arrow to the text tool. Thank you.